Hey guys, and welcome to another Laura and Nicholas vlog. <laughs> so yesterday we shipped Herbie the van to the Greek islands, and we are going to be traveling around with Herbie on the Greek islands for the next month. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss our adventures. And the first island we're on right now is... Sifnos! <laughs> Or Sifno, we actually don't know how what the right way is to pronounce it, so let us know for any Greek followers here. But uh, yeah, we're just going to show you around. We just arrived in Apollonia, which is a super cute town. We had dinner here already last night. And yeah, we're just going to explore and show you this new beautiful Greek island. Let's go! <laughs> we're excited! Yes, yeah, so excited. So I think we'll just take you with us the next few days, show you what this island is all about. Apparently it's a big foodie island, so we're going to eat a lot. So Sifno actually is a pretty small island. It's only 15 kilometers long and seven and a half kilometers wide. So it only takes like 20 minutes to go from one side to the other. Right now, we just got Herbie the van. Tomorrow we might rent a scooter or an ATV though, cause it's just a little bit easier. There are a couple of narrow streets, but for now Herbie the van will do. For our first day of exploring, we're just going to stay on like the main road and try to find out how much we get to do just with the van only without a scooter. Yeah. And then we'll see tomorrow. So I think today will be like just like the big towns or like the big beaches. And tomorrow we might do some more hidden gems. On another note, I think Sifno is also one of the only Greek islands that has great public transportation. So there's a bus going around the island the whole day and you just hop on, hop off. And apparently it's super easy to use that. But we prefer scooters and Herbie the van, of course. <laughs> Okay, so from the town center, we actually noticed this big church in the distance. So we're walking up there right now. We also took some pictures because it's just so beautiful. It's insane. And this is only the first town we're visiting on Sifno. So imagine what the rest of this island will look like. Okay, so that was Apollonia during the day. We will definitely come back here a couple more evenings because at too. night it's a completely different vibe and it's really cool as well. And they but just have amazing restaurants and bars. I think even tonight we might come for like a drink or something. Or two. Or two. <laughs> Now we're just gonna go back to Herbie, drink something refreshing because it is very, very warm. And I think we're just going to start driving around the island and see where it takes us. Yeah, let's do it. And we are back with Herbie. This is actually where we slept tonight, on the parking lot. Just we were just too tired to we're move. We're super tired, one. And two, we just had dinner in town. And I don't know, we didn't feel like moving anymore. So we just stayed here. This was our view for the night. <laughs> For those of you who haven't seen Herbie yet, you should watch our van tour. I will link it right here. It's a bit of a mess. Right now. That's how it looks most of the time. Mm -hmm. On another note, we just bought some pastries for should we go to the beach that we have something to eat. Yeah, this is our little home. I love Herbie so much. Me too. Okay, so we made it to Platos Gialos, which is like some kind of beach area like full of little beach clubs, little beach bars here. Lots of very good restaurants as well. Yeah, so we might come back later this week for like a really beachy afternoon. But now Nicholas isn't really dressed for the beach occasion. We might come back later this week. It looks pretty cool. There are yeah. a lot of very cool and trendy beach bars, Super lots of trendy. good restaurants. And we also found showers, which is great because the shower in Herbie isn't draining very well. Uh, so we might take some outdoor showers. Yeah, I think so. Pladis Gialos. It is definitely a cool beach. Not the most beautiful beach in the world, but we'll come back for a full beach day yeah. in a few days. Now it's time to explore some more of the island. Yay. So we're going back to Herbie and we're gonna drive and off. I'm not sure where we go. We're just going to go with the flow. Yeah, <laughs> just go with the flow. Or 
whole Greek experience is just going with the flow. <laughs> yes. Okay, so now we decided to come to one of the famous monasteries on the island that actually is on top of a cliff here overlooking the sea. It is gorgeous. I think it should be fun as well to just like lay here on the rocks and have like a little beach afternoon for a few hours. Yeah. But um, it's so windy now. Yeah, I so don't if even you know if you can't here. hear us, it's the wind's fault. It's insanely windy. And we made it with Kirby to this spot. The, the roads are a little bit more narrow, but we made it. Let's hope Herbie can make it up as well. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna visit the monastery right now. We might take some pictures here later as well because apparently it's a really beautiful spot to take photos. Let's have a look. Okay, so now we made it to Faros, which is another tiny fisher town. It might seem like on this first day we're going from spot to spot. That is actually true. The thing is, we just weren't supposed to be in Sifnos right now, so we haven't done our research either. So we don't really know what to expect. So we're just hitting all the spots today, and, and then, then the, next the other days. days we'll just experience them a little yeah. bit better. Then we're just like going to see which places we like the most and what we can do there um yeah and then we can plan for the coming days but for now we're just gonna walk around in Paros and we'll show you guys Okay, so we made it to Vati Beach and it's actually a small fisher's town and up to 25, 20 years ago or something there was no electricity in this town and there wasn't even a road going here so you could only come here by boat. It's actually quite interesting to see and now there is a road and we can just drive here luckily there is electricity. It's just like weird to think that only 20 years ago it was completely different. But yeah, we're just going to walk around. Apparently it's one of the most beautiful fisher towns in all of Greece. Very authentic, so I'm very excited to walk around and just discover this place. So behind me there's a super long beach. It's very narrow but very long. And right next to it there's a couple of restaurants and cute bars. And there's also accommodation here. There's some very cute B&Bs. They look super nice in their Greek way. So yeah, Vati really is a very calm, very small fisher very town. Very authentic. The yeah. only thing you can hear is the howling of the wind. It's just very relaxing. Like you see people just reading books, having a chill time. Just relaxing. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to spend like a couple days here, no, but I either. understand people who just want to get away from it all. I think this is the place to be. We're going back to Herbie now, going back to Apollonia to have some drinks and dinner. Yes! We also took took some pictures right here in this little corner. I'll insert them right here for you guys to have a look at. I just love taking pictures and Laura is such a great model sometimes. Oh, too sweet. No, like lately we've honestly been shifting a bit of our style. We're trying to create more of what we love, more artistic vibes, more fashion, more lifestyle. Maybe it, maybe it isn't what our Instagram followers especially no. want to but see, but we like. it makes us more happy. So yes. that's the vibe we're sticking to. If you don't follow us yet on Instagram, make <laughs> sure to have a look at our profile. It is at Lauren Nicholas. Just some travel content yeah. like we do here on YouTube, but in stills. Okay, so we made it back to Herbie. Yay. Laura is cleaning up a little bit. We're going to get changed and then we'll have dinner in Apollonia because I said this morning that I would show you guys the town during the night time. Why are you making some weird faces? What? What? what You're am making I weird faces. Okay. <laughs> 
So yeah, we're just gonna go back to Apollonia because it is such a vibe at night. Good morning from Herbie the Van, you morning. guys. So yesterday evening we had a lovely evening, had some drinks, had some good food. Everything is so very cheap here, so we always order way too much. Yes. This morning we woke up, we already had a little swim in the sea, took a nice outdoor shower, and now we are going to make some breakfast and explore the island a little more. Yes, first coffee. Mm -hmm. So we always start our day with a little coffee and we also steam some oat barista milk. Laura likes to add some vanilla milk with it too. Honestly, so many people asked about how I make my lattes on our Instagram stories. So you just add barista oat milk with some vanilla soy milk and then you get a nice vanilla latte. Just like at Starbucks, but more healthy. Well, that's what I think. <laughs> I have no idea. So yeah, we're gonna have coffee, then we're gonna have a little breakfast. We bought some like Greek yogurt with honey and nuts, something typical Greek. So we're going to enjoy that. And then we need to pack everything up. So then we need to make sure that nothing can move while driving. And then we're going to explore the island. Packing up probably takes like one minute. So this is it, our breakfast. Super simple, but very delicious. Okay, so we just made it to Castro, which is on another side of the island. Um, it is still very windy today, so, so windy. we'll probably skip the beaches again and yeah. do that another day. So today we'll just be exploring some more little towns. We don't know what to expect. That's the fun part about it. We have no idea what to expect. But everything looks so nice here. Also, it's like not a famous place where there's a lot of photos that have been taken already. So it's nice because you can just explore and find out ourselves um, instead of going from one Instagram spot to another. It's just fun to explore ourselves. So we're excited to see what Custer is about. Let's go. <laughs> if we just smile, if we just, if we just. If one we thing you should know when visiting Sifno is that a lot of the towns have a lot of stairs. If you're not very fit, well, not fit, but if you have problems with stairs, think twice, because there are a lot of stairs. It's like everywhere in Greece, like in the Greek islands, no? Yeah, but here I feel there's even more than on other Greek islands. <laughs> stairs again. One step, one step at a time, we gonna make it, gonna make it all right. If we stick together, we'll be fine. Cause if we just smile, we can forget all of our troubles for a while. Okay, so Castro is probably one of the most authentic traditional villages that we've ever seen here in Greece. There is not much to do, so it's not that there's a lot of restaurants or a lot going on. It's just so beautiful, super authentic. So yeah, we highly recommend it. Look how pretty. <sighs> So after having seen a lot of cute little houses and cute little streets, we have made it to the highlight of this town, which is actually this little church here that is right on the edge of a cliff. And it is so beautiful. Okay, so that was Castro, you guys. Uh, we didn't make it to the church on the cliff anymore because it was just too windy. So windy. But now it is time to go to the next destination, which we don't know yet what it is. We'll see, we'll see in the car. We'll find out in the car. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the complete tip of the island and it's <laughs> it's so windy, it's insane. But it's super beautiful, so it's like the complete north tip and it feels like we're at Cape of Good Hope <laughs> in South Africa. It's so windy! But anyway, we made it to Chenisas, Kenisas Beach? Kenosisos. Kenosisos? Yeah, that's what it is, I think. We'll show you. It's a very, very cute little fisher village as well. So we just climbed a little bit up to the top to have an overview. So we'll show you the view from up here and then we're gonna head down and have some lunch and show you around. Maybe you will find me funny 
Maybe you will find me true. Okay, just made it to the restaurant and it is time for a little lunch. Gonna keep it light. The views are 10 out of 10. It's beautiful. It's so calm. Okay, so in the meantime, it's already time for sunset. So we just got a little bit of work done in the van for like about an hour or something. And now we're going to watch the sunset here on the beach in Camaras. Camaras is actually the town, the official town where we arrived with the ferry. So we're going to have dinner here as well tonight because we didn't get to visit it or spend time here. It's so not really far, the so. official town. I think it's like the capital of Sifno. You think? Yes. I think it's Apollonia. We'll see. We don't know. We'll, we'll let it. you know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're going to walk around Camaras and yeah, take you guys with us for dinner. We also booked some pretty cool things for the next few days. We're yes, going to we beach did. clubs. We're going to the best restaurant on the island. Yeah. So apparently. very excited. Now let's go to the beach. We're gonna build ourselves Okay, so we actually wanted to go to a very specific Italian restaurant, but it was fully booked. So we decided to come to our second option, also an Italian restaurant. Well, it's actually a mix of Italian and Greek food, but we'll see if it's good. We'll let you know. Okay, so that was a decent dinner, I feel. We paid 25 euros or something. Not the Everyth best food? No, it's not, it like wasn't the best food. It was pretty okay. decent Italian comfort food. Yeah, but food. I wouldn't say highly recommend coming there but it's just okay there are better places there are better Sydney. places but in general food is quite cheap here it actually is and we love cheap food <laughs> cheap and good we yeah, don't just, of course. Whoa. i almost lost my tone really again that literally happens all the time okay so now it is back to herbie the van we're gonna find a sleeping spot for tonight yes and then tomorrow it is beach time no tomorrow it's shooting Ooh, tomorrow day. is a, a shooting day. day yeah day. yeah see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow good morning guys so today as we said is a shooting day we're gonna take some pictures for our instagram account uh, we might do some client work as well so we won't be doing too many fun things today but traveling for us is also a bit of work so that's what Otherwise we're going we to do today. Be traveling full time. <laughs> yeah. Got to earn some money to be able to do this lifestyle. So today is one of those days. All right. The so first stop of the day is Vati Beach. Nicholas is setting up the tripod because we don't have a photographer traveling with us. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. So we use the tripod and that's the angle we're going to get. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. You'll see. You'll see the result, right? Here. You'll see the results if you figured it out. I need the camera now. Babe. Okay, <laughs> bye. Okay, so that is our morning shoot done. Now we are going to the market, well, the mini market actually, to buy some food for lunch. And then we will drive to our next destination to shoot some more. And this is what the supermarket looks like. It's half supermarket, half boat supplies. It is pretty basic, not too much choice. But you have some fruit and veggies right here and that's about it that's the market all the rest are like beach accessories and stuff okay so in the meantime it is almost evening we just made a little smoothie bowl for lunch and then we shot a lot of pictures and we had some work done here in the van yes. and we managed to snag a reservation at the best restaurant apparently on Sifno very excited so we're gonna try that out tonight and then tomorrow we will do a proper beach day because we both need it all right so we just made it to omega 3 which is apparently the best restaurant in the island apparently and the first three dishes were so good insanely good it's pretty nice we're sitting on the beach in these high chairs okay so we made it back to herbie the van and we we're gonna get a good sleep we ate really well especially nicholas because i'm normally not like a big fish eater i try to eat vegetarian as much as possible but it was really good we enjoyed it but now it's time for bed we're gonna get a good sleep and we'll see you in the morning good night <laughs> 
Good morning guys. It is actually noon already. This morning it was a bit overcast so we just walked around in one of the towns and we just took some snapshots but now it is clearing up and we are heading to the beach. We're actually going to what I think is the coolest beach club in the whole of Sifno. We walked past it two days ago and we just decided back then that we had to visit it. So we're going there today. Yeah! Yeah, we're pretty excited to have like a laid back afternoon to just chill by the beach. No shooting, no walking around, just like relaxing. And drink cocktails. And drink cocktails. Let's go. Uh, let the games begin. Anticipating the main event. Okay, just made it to the Lost Bay and I love this place already. Good music, specialized in cocktails. I just hope it clears up for a little bit. Yeah, because right now it is a little bit overcast still. Okay, first order of the day, some cocktails. A mocktail for Laura. <laughs> Not too much alcohol no. for her. Cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. <laughs> it is time for lunch now and these cocktails, guys, they are something else. Yeah, this is their homemade iced tea. Laura's it's... keeping it non-alcoholic. Yeah, because this the thing part. is, no, no, no. When I drink alcohol during noon, like during lunch, the rest of the afternoon I will just sleep. She's waiting till like 5, 6 p.m. and then she's <laughs> exactly. going Exactly. I can't remember what I ordered, but it looks delicious. And it's really good. How's the salad, babe? Very good. Quick salad, always good. Okay, we are back on the beach and we just had our last order of the day. A little <laughs> dessert, some churros. I love churros. <laughs> it isn't Greek, is it? It's Spanish, I think. I think it's Mexican. If you guys know, let us know. Let us know in the comments down below. Okay, so we finished our beach day. We really enjoyed our little afternoon. It was super relaxing. Now we need to fill up our water tanks. So I feel this is the most difficult and most challenging part about van life in a place where there is no van life practically because we're literally the only van on the whole island is to find fresh water to fill up our tanks. Um, because there's no campsite, there's nothing actually. So we're very lucky that we found a little tap here on the parking lot and we're filling up the water right now. Hey kitty cat. So we think this means that it's potable water so it's drinkable, but we're honestly not sure. What do you think? Is it? Oh. Are you scared? Okay, and what's the plan after that? Food. Where are we gonna eat? Artemona, the That's little town we went this morning. Good job, babe. <laughs> okay, so we're back at Artimonas now. It's a bit chilly, it's a bit windy, but um, we're going to have dinner here. We're going to find a cute little restaurant and Man, just enjoy our know. evening. Man. And then we don't know where we're going to sleep yet. <laughs> that is always the hustle is where do we sleep? We'll see. We'll see. Good morning, morning, you guys. So last night after dinner, we found a really cute little bar. Nicholas decided to dance. I will insert a little clip right here because... Let's just say we had a good time. We had a very, very good time yesterday. But Afterward, anyways. we found a nice little spot for Herbie right yeah. by the sea. So this morning we woke up and we had a little morning a little swim. Morning. And it felt so good. Now it's time to get some work done. Yes. Like a big part of our work is concentration for rent. So we need to shoot the whole day for rent. But we have a very exciting lunch planned as well. Yes. At what is probably the well, second best forgot. restaurant. Bro, I, I told you three times this morning already. I almost this forgot. This I was girl like, just there... doesn't listen <laughs> to me. I thought, oh, there is something exciting that we need to do today, but I just keep forgetting. Let's, Let's get shoot some, some pictures. Done. Okay, so we got tons of work done. We're quite happy with what we created. We're going to insert some little photos right here so you get an idea of the content creation we did this morning. But now it's time for lunch. We deserve it. We're going to have good lunch on the beach. So we're back at Plata Gialos. It's actually the beach we were yesterday afternoon and we're just going to enjoy a nice little lunch. Love is lost and love is found. Okay, so we had the most amazing lunch. It was really, really good. We spent a few hours there. It was just like so chill. But now we're back in the van and we're going to get some work done because we obviously need to work as well. We need to edit the content we shopped this morning for brands. So yeah, we have quite some things to do. So grabbed ourselves a coffee, although it's already 
6 p.m. <laughs> We're gonna get some work done now, so we'll see you later. Good morning, guys. Morning. I had a lovely little shower this morning. And on the beach. On the beach. And <laughs> now it is time to go to Camares, the port area, because we are probably taking the ferry to another island today. But first, we have to find tickets. We couldn't book them online, so we're gonna walk there now and Let's hopefully walk. there is still some availability. <laughs> it is the end of the season, so normally ferries aren't full, so you can just book your tickets last minute. But here in Greece, you never know. Best is to book them a few days or even a few weeks in advance, especially in high season. Yeah. Okay, this is the place. Wish us luck. We got the tickets. We got it. We were actually pretty lucky because from today on you need a PCR test to go from one island to the other except when you're fully vaccinated so we are fully vaccinated but so it's no issue for us it doesn't change it is thing. not but imagine not being fully vaccinated and just thinking yeah. oh I'm gonna change islands within the same country not allowed anymore without a test but I guess this is the end of our Siftness vlog yes, we hope you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe because next week this vlog will be super interesting for you guys as well. You heard the lady. <laughs> Subscribe. It's free. It's easy. You just have to click a button. Also, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And we will see you next week. See you next week. Bye.